Ultimately, we'll want to create NC code for the CNC machine. This is called post-processing, or simply posting. Posting converts the image of the toolpaths you created into the language for a specific NC machine. Fusion provides a number of free post processors with the system. The post processor might be named after your machine or possibly your CNC control. Another valuable tool is a setup sheet. This is the documentation about the stock size, job description, zero positions, tools, feeds, speeds, and work offsets. The setup sheet is generally output for the machine operator. It can be printed and sent out to the shop floor with the job information, or it can be made available on a network as a web document. So if the operator has a PC at the machine, he can view the setup sheet without the need to print a document. If your project has more than one setup, you'll need to make sure that you have the current setup active. To do that, when you mouse over this setup, you'll see a little radio dial here where I can activate or deactivate this particular setup. The black dot in the middle tells me that this is the active setup. Once we're sure that's active, I can right click on top of that setup and I can say post process. On the post processing dialog, under post configuration, you can select the post processor you need to use. Here we can select a filter to tell it to only show us turning posts. Here I can pull down to select which post I want to use. Right now it's set to Fanuc Turning, which is a generic Fanuc turning post processor. That'll be fine for what we need. Here you can set the output folder. You can point this anywhere you like. This could even be a network drive. This is the final location where you're going to save the NC program. Here it shows the default extension for the NC file, which typically would be a .nc. Here we have our program name, which will be the O number that shows up at the beginning of the program, and then our program comment that we gave it. Down at the bottom it says open NC file in editor. We're going to check that so we can actually look at the NC code when it gets created. Now select post. Fusion will give you one more chance to select an alternate location for your NC file. So you could leave it to the location you have set, or you could even point this to a flash drive. Let's hit save. And here we can see the output NC program. There's our O number, our program description, basic startup codes, our facing operation, our profiling operation, and so on through the rest of the program. And that's how you would post process to create the NC code. You can also create a setup sheet of this process. Creating a setup sheet is almost identical. You would select the setup, right click your mouse, select setup sheet. You can select the folder where you'll be saving this setup sheet. As a default, it will go to the same folder as your NC program. I'm going to say select that folder. This will open up your default browser and we can see setup sheet for the program number we described with our comments, the actual name of the part, the current image that was on the screen when we ran the setup sheet, the overall stock sizes, part size, where zero is located, number of operations, estimated cycle time, and then we have a description for each operation and what will be happening for each operation. This is in an HTML format. It can be viewed in any web browser. So when it asks you the folder to save it in, again, if you save this on a network drive and the operator has access to that drive at his machine, he can bring up these in any standard web browser. And that's really all it takes to create the NC code or to create a setup sheet for this job.